Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I am looking a little crazy, but that's because if you read the title of the video, we are trying out magnetic lashes today. Um, I figured today would be a perfect day because I'm just gonna be at home. I'm gonna be, you know, getting our house together after the holidays. You guys know it gets crazy. But I did wanna try two different brands, I guess you can? Yeah, two different brands. <laughs> Why could I not think of the word? Um, on two different brands of magnetic lashes so we'll see how it goes I'm not gonna do a full face of makeup that's why I just did like a little simple eye look um it's just gonna be focused on the lashes but I did want to get something on the eyes because realistically most people are gonna have eyeshadow on their eyes when they wear these I will be doing check-ins I'll probably do like two check-ins like one after this and then like the last one at night just letting you know how it went um, I'm gonna try to keep them on as long as I can hopefully they're comfortable we will see also after I apply these I'm gonna give you guys a little quick update on the bat your lashes company and the issues that I was having if you guys saw that video I just want to be fair and give you guys any updates that I have from them so before we get into these I just want to remind you guys to please subscribe to my channel ring the bell to get notified every time I upload a new video or as often as you'd like to be reminded and if you're new to my channel welcome we are very laid back here very chill I come here to hang out with you guys but if you do have any requests let me know down below and I'll do my best to get to those okay you guys let's get into this so the first ones we're going to try are these Adele Wispies, again, magnetic lashes. This one did come with the gel magnetic liner and a little brush. In the back of the box, it basically just tells you um, how to apply them and how to remove them. Any quick tips or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and take like two seconds just to read it. Okay guys, so basically we're just going to put the eyeliner on and then you actually have to put these on when the eyeliner is still semi-wet you just gently press it down to secure it now they do say in the quick tips to use on clean dry lids like i have eyeshadow on <laughs> you know what i mean and then it says uh for best results use primer prior to application like what do you mean like am i supposed to put a eyeliner like what? <laughs> We're just gonna apply these like we would regular lashes. So I'm just gonna put the eyeliner on and then we're gonna put the um, eyelash on and then see how it works. This does say that if you need to reposition the lash that you're gonna have to wait for it to completely dry, gently take it off, clean the back of the magnets and then reapply eyeliner and then put them back on. So we'll see how it goes and I'm gonna try my best to not need to reposition these because I can't imagine having like eyeliner on top of eyeliner. So the inside of the eyeliner looks like this. They do give you a tiny amount. The jar is bigger or looks bigger than what they give you but I mean it's eyeliner. I don't go through eyeliner fast. I don't know about you guys. Maybe if you wear it every day. So the brush is just a little angled brush. Nothing special here and yeah, I guess let's get into it. So I'm going to do the Ardell on this side, and then we'll do the other brand on the other side. So it is just like... Oh, you can't even see because of my nails. It is just about the same consistency as regular eyeliner. So... I think I want to bring my other mirror so I can see a little closer. Sorry if I go orange, you guys. Um, okay, so it looks like the same consistency as eyeliner, but it definitely is a little thicker and a little harder to drag. Maybe it's the brush because it's a little to grasp. I'm not really sure. Now, it doesn't say you have to use this brush, so maybe using another brush would it be easier okay guys so i went ahead and i did a little baby wing i also went ahead and put on a little bit of mascara on my regular lashes i didn't put a lot um but to me i'm just gonna try them like regular lashes now i will say this you have to be very careful because these are sticky there's like a little sticky thing to hold them in place in this particular brand. The other brand I believe has like a meta, uh, magnetic strip, but you have to be careful. Okay, let me go in before this dries up. I think I'm gonna... See? 
See, it's like stuck to my tweezers. Okay guys, so I'm actually redoing this part here. So what had happened was this comes with like, I don't know, like a little sticky situation here to hold the lash. If you can see my lash actually lost a little lash. Um, and it made the whole thing sticky. Also using the tweezers that I was using, the magnets are actually trying to hold on to the tweezers. So I went ahead and I wiped all that eyeliner off. We're going back into the eyeliner again this little one and I'm gonna use a longer brush to see if I'm more comfortable with putting it on I'm so sorry for the background noise you guys everybody and their mother decided that they were gonna be in their backyards working today with their dogs so let me get in here also I'm just putting the eyeliner where the lashes are gonna be and that is because the magnets will stick as you're putting this on so I'm not gonna wing it out this time or anything I'm just gonna do it just to the end I'm gonna give it a second to dry I'm not gonna put any mascara on because I feel like that also makes the lash more sticky and then I'm just gonna try to go in with my nails and get it on there I wanted to try to use the tweezers to be a little more precise and so you guys could see when I'm putting it on but I don't think that's gonna happen so it says semi-wet. I, I can't tell if it's dried down or not yet. So I went in and cleaned the lash, but you could tell it's totally fine. There's nothing weird about it. And I did clean off the magnets, so it should stick. Sorry if you can't see. And it's not sticking. Okay, you guys. I feel like it's not sticking to the end. But it looks stuck on there. I feel like I can get my lashes to look like this. <laughs> Okay, so moving on to the Eiler London Pro Magnetic Lashes. They look like this. And this one comes with a liquid liner. Sorry if I'm orange, you guys. So basically, this one I did read it. You just apply the eyeliner. You let it dry. Apply again. Let, let it dry. And then you apply your lashes. So this one is two coats of the liquid liner. This one doesn't say anything about repositioning. I'm pretty sure you can just reposition them as many times as you need because I think I did watch the video for these ones. So I am going to have two different style of lashes on. Again, this is why I thought this was the perfect day to try them. So I'm just going to go in, apply the eyeliner. It doesn't say waterproof or anything. So I'm assuming it's just, I don't know, a regular eyeliner. It doesn't say anything special. So that is the first layer. I'm going to go ahead and let that dry a little bit and then we're going to go in with the next layer. I will say my lashes are long and a little bit of the eyeliner gets on them so hopefully I can put the eyelash over it without them sticking to my lashes. Okay you guys, so I went ahead and I put that second layer. I'm still waiting for it to dry just for a second but as I'm waiting for this to dry, this eyelash over here kind of like popped up a little bit it's still stuck to the eyeliner it just kind of moved up a little I don't know what to do because I don't want to pull it off because then I have to reapply that eyeliner okay you guys so I let this dry I touched it and nothing's coming off it is shiny it's been like five minutes so I feel like it should be dry so now we're gonna go in with the eyelash and these are the ones that came with it I believe they are the volume Yes, these are the volume. So let's, sorry that you can't see you guys, I'm sorry. You just put them on, I don't know. It's a little difficult because my lashes are long. Okay. 
Okay guys, so I went ahead and I got that on. I'm sorry that I couldn't really show you guys how to put it, like how I put it on. It's magnetic, it just sticks. But between my eyelashes being long and my nails, I was kind of struggling. Um, because it, they get stuck on my eyelashes as I'm trying to put them on. Like my hairs kind of start intertwining. Um, but it's on so i'm gonna go ahead and zoom you in so you could see these are the ardell ones these ones came with a gel liner um again i don't know what's going on here let me see if i can close my eye here so you guys could see the eyeliner is just really hard to glide on honestly i think it's like super thick um i will say this little part right here hopefully you guys can see it it moved up a little bit so when I put down the eyeliner I put it really close to my like lash line but it kind of moved up a little bit with the I don't know maybe the magnet was stronger up higher so these ones are the Eyler ones um these ones came with the liquid liner and these ones are definitely a little bit more dramatic and more voluminous that is the name of them volume um yeah this one just I don't know I feel like it just went on way better and it looks way better again give my final thoughts at the end um and maybe we could play around with can you use these lashes with this liner I don't know we'll see right um but that is what they look like you guys I don't know like do you want me to look up do you want me to look down like where do you want me to look <laughs> um but yeah guys so let me go ahead and zoom you out here Okay, guys, so that is what I'm looking like right now. I will say this just because I don't know if things will change. Um, this one, I can feel it, but I feel like it feels like thick eyeliner. It doesn't necessarily feel like thick lashes or like heavy or anything like that. I did just get a little bit of the liquid eyeliner on my eyelash, so I'm thinking that's what it is. And then on this side, I mostly can't feel it except for right here. That little piece that moved up. I don't want to move it because then I'm going to have to reapply the whole eyeliner and clean it off and all that. So I'm going to leave it. But, I mean, it's not like poking me or anything. I could just feel it a lot there. Um, does it feel like anything different than wearing other lashes? No. Like you could still feel there's something there because there's something there. But it's nothing dramatic or different or anything like that. So I did just quickly want to update you guys before I let you guys go. Um, if you guys saw my we need to chat video or we need to talk or something like that where I talk about the Bat Your Lashes company and the big palettes. I don't know if you haven't seen it I'll link it down below. Um, and I was just sharing my experience with you guys. I do just want to keep everything fair and open and honest and since I already started the conversation I just wanted to go ahead and give an update. So I did get an email and a DM from the owner of the company and she reached out she asked if I would give her a call um, I just felt more comfortable doing everything through email number one I didn't have a bunch of time to sit down and number two it's just easier we both know what we're saying and we can send it and you know just to keep it more simple to, for me so um she went ahead and she sent me a message it was a nice lengthy message and she was just apologizing for everything that happened and so you know all that stuff and I appreciate it I let her know with my response to her that I appreciate her reaching out and everything of course it just sucks that things like this happen before you get answers to like you know things like I don't know I just I get it I I figured for the most part they are a smaller company I know things happen I just feel like some things just shouldn't happen I think mistakes are mistakes but again like I mentioned in the video my feelings about everything um like I accept the apology it's fine I just hope that everybody else got their stuff I did end up getting my stuff like within three or four days after those emails I want to say and so again it just sucks that that kind of stuff happens when you say something and I, I I get it I just I don't want to like you know cause a whole another big thing I just wanted to give you guys an update they did reach out I did get my palettes finally all of them and yeah it was just sharing with you guys to order at your own risk because I did mention the company I will probably still use the palettes on here they're so far great palettes I haven't had issues with them just yet okay guys, but that is it just wanted to give a quick update and so I will be back in a little while to update you on 
the lashes. Okay everyone, so at this point it's 5 p.m. around 5 p.m. so that's like five plus hours that I've had these on already. Um, so far this is what we're looking like. Let me focus it up a little closer. We are still intact. I don't think anything's falling off yet. This one right here, the eyeliner did smudge a little bit. My eye was a little watery. I don't know if I had anything to do with it or not. Um, I didn't rub it or anything like that. But the lashes are still on. Um, I feel like this one's on a little better. And again, I think that's because of the eyeliner. Saving my thoughts for the end. Um, but this one hasn't came off either. Um, I've had my glasses on and my glasses have been kind of like, you know touching a little bit here and there but nothing has came off yet hopefully it doesn't um I feel like maybe it's lifting a tiny bit I don't know if it's lifting or if it's just like a thick band but anyway I just want to do a quick check-in I will be back maybe in just like another two or three hours just to see like the final situation okay hopefully the lighting's not funny I'll be back Okay, you guys, so I am back for the final check-in. It's, like, a little bit after 8.30, um, but I'm ready to just chill with no makeup on, so I'm going to take these off. Um, so if you can see here, let me scoot in a little closer. So just to remind you, these ones were the Ardell ones, and these ones were the Eiler ones. So these ones are still hanging on pretty well. This one started coming up here. I don't know if you can see it right here in this inner corner it's lifted um the eyeliner looks like it did kind of peel off a little bit okay you guys excuse the box in the back but so my final thoughts my final thoughts are um this one the one with the little eyeliner sorry i put it away already um this lash i think is still hanging on pretty well but personally i think that there's something more than just magnetic whatever um in it because if you look at it when i pull down it doesn't look like it's gripping like magnet it looks like it's gripping like um like glue almost um i could be wrong maybe it's just like a jelly i'm not really sure um on this eye though this is much easier application than this one again this one started getting like sticky and kind of like hard to drag but as far as which one lasted longer technically it was this one but i do quickly want to say that i completely read the directions wrong it was supposed to be apply a coat let it dry and then apply two more coats so i technically only applied two coats it was supposed to be three coats it is just the inner corner that's lifting again could have been because my eye was getting watery as i mentioned in my last check-in um it could have been because it really needed that extra coat i'm not really sure if you guys want me to use these again i definitely will in a look but will I be using these? No, you guys. I showed my sister and she was literally like, I can't tell the difference. Like, I don't know. I just, I get why people use them. There's some people that have like no lashes. I have lashes. I'm okay with a little mascara. Like, I'm good. Um, but, so again, clearly these ones are thicker and... These ones are more wispy. That's the look that it was supposed to be going for. Now, if I was going to personally buy more or buy them or recommend one or the other, I would definitely go for the eyeliner one, the liquid eyeliner one. Um, I feel like I don't really like how thick the band is. I do prefer the band on the Ardell ones, but it's so much easier to, easier to apply. And when you're putting it on, it feels the same like it feels like it's holding on it doesn't feel like it's gonna uh fall off just because it's liquid liner like I said it does feel like they're gonna fall off but because I guess in your head you're just thinking like it's a magnet like you feel like something's just gonna pass by and it's gonna fly off but not a difference in because one's like in a pot and the other one's like a liquid eyeliner form that's just my personal opinion now to remove them it's supposed to be easy but do you see this this is definitely it has glue in it let me zoom you back in this one 
this definitely has glue in it sorry if you can see my mirror look at how easy this one comes off and you can feel like that magnetic pool kind of um this is i don't know if you can see what the lash looks like the lash band again is a little thing but this one is like glued on you guys ow oh my god if i lost an eyelash i'm gonna be pissed so maybe this one clings on better as well because you're supposed to put it on when it's still wet but you can see the eyeliner came off from both of them not just one or the other but i really think that these ardell ones the eyeliner i think it has like some kind of glue so now just for experimenting purposes i'm gonna wipe this off i'm gonna put um the liquid liner from the Eyler one and then I'm going to put the Ardell eyelashes on to see if it'll work with any magnetic lashes or not. I have a feeling it's going to but we shall see so I will be right back. Okay you guys so I got those uh, Ardell wispies on with the Eyler uh, liquid liner and this is what they look like. So they do stick on with this eyeliner so you could easily buy just the magnetic lashes and the eyeliner from Allure. I will link down below on Ulta the ones that I bought and then from there you can search whatever you'd like. The Ardell Wispies lash kit was $15 and then the Eyler Magnetic Eyeliner and Volume Lash System was $12.74. It was on sale when I purchased it. I don't know how much the original price is. So before I zoom out, I do just want to point this out. I don't know if you could see these little hairs right here and right here. Those are my lashes. So something to take into consideration is that your eyes have to fit perfectly for these to work on you. Because if I didn't have this, if I didn't have these lashes, I mean, you would clearly be able to tell that I have big lashes on <laughs> since they end right there. Obviously you could put them down lower but you know what I mean. The whole point is for it to fit your lash line. Um, so that is something to take into consideration. Again this over here is my lashes. Now another thing that personally I didn't like about the Ardell Wispies was that little sticky thing. Uh, you could tell on the outer corners here it kind of like stuck some of the lashes together because it's sticky from the component where they put the actual lashes um and that's kind of irritating i don't know if it was just this box i don't know if it's other lashes i've never used their lashes before in my life so that's something to take into consideration you would have to do research on that yourself okay you guys so overall I would definitely say like this is cool as far as for those people that really struggle to put on eyelashes who don't want to deal with eyelash glue and all that. The main plus is that being able to put them on fairly easy for the most part compared to eyelashes with glue. I feel like there's not a huge difference though um, because if you do get that eyeliner on your lashes it is kind of sticking to your lashes. If you have long lashes it's kind of like getting like even if you're trying to put them over as you're trying to adjust like my lashes kept getting like intertwined it could have been the little sticky stuff it could have just been the lashes because I feel like it did it with both but I don't know um I think my main negative on it though is I would I, I wouldn't know how these would hold up if you're like outside and you're like sweaty or it's humid like I feel like the eyeliner cracked on both sides just a little bit I don't know if that was because I was around my house cleaning around I don't know if it's the eyeliner like I just don't know um I think that this product would be super amazing in individual lashes and I do know that I believe at Sephora they have individual lashes but that kit is like 60 or $70. So I don't know. Maybe one day. I'm not sure. So if you just wanted to give these a try and check them out, I will link them down below. Overall, 
I would say if you're interested in lashes, but maybe you don't like to do the whole lash glue thing, this is a pretty good alternative. Um, but again, it depends on what you're using it for, etc., etc. I will say something else that I want to point out. I really wish that the eyeliner would dry down matte. It's like a little glossy. I don't know if you could tell. And I feel like, I don't know, that brings a lot of attention to the eyeliner, the lashes itself. But that's probably like a personal preference, you know, I don't know. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you guys want me to try out any other little weird things like this let me know if you use these and there's anything we should know let me know down below um i hope that i was as informative as i could as far as like showing you guys and all that stuff um but yeah i mean they weren't the worst this not for me but yeah guys that's gonna be it i hope that you enjoy your day your night your evening whenever you're watching this and i will see you in my next one adios